Um, okay, so um, in this lecture here, we're going to continue the proof of the contraction mapping principle. So in this lecture here, basically, we're going to show that um, the sequence x sub n is um, a Cauchy sequence. Remember, that means um, in a large m limit and n limit, the ordinary distance between the n term and the m term of the sequence has to be zero. So um, if m is greater than k, then we can see that um, the ordinary distance between the m term of the sequence and then the k term of the sequence is going to be less than or equal to um, the ordinary distance between the m term of the sequence and the m minus 1 term of the sequence plus um, the ordinary distance between the m minus 1 term of the sequence and then the k term of the sequence. We get that by applying the triangle inequality. Now, if you apply the triangle inequality to the second term, then you see that um, the ordinary distance between the m minus 1 term and then the k term of the sequence is going to be less than or equal to the ordinary distance between the m minus 1 term of the sequence and the m minus 2 term of the sequence plus um, the m minus 2 term of the sequence plus uh, the k term of the sequence. So, um, by repeated application of the triangle inequality, we have basically that the ordinary distance between um, the m term of the sequence and then the k term of the sequence is going to be um, uh, less than or equal to um, the ordinary distance between the m term of the sequence and the m minus 1 term of the sequence plus um, the ordinary distance between the m minus 1 term of the sequence and then the m minus 2 term of the sequence plus continuing plus um, the ordinary distance between um, the k plus 1 term of the sequence and then the k term of the sequence. Uh, but remember, um, in the previous lecture, um, we showed that for every positive integer k, uh, the ordinary distance between the k plus 1 term of the sequence and then the k term of the sequence is less than or equal to c to the power k times um, the ordinary distance between c of x of 0 and um, x of 0. Uh, so that means um, the ordinary distance between um, the m term of the sequence and then the m minus 1 term of the sequence is going to be less than or equal to c to the power m minus 1 times um, the ordinary distance between um, t of x of 0 and x of 0 and the ordinary distance between um, the m minus 1 term and the m minus 2 term is going to be less than or equal to c to the power m minus 2 times the ordinary distance between c of x of 0 and x of 0. Now, if we continue, basically see that uh, the ordinary distance between um, the, x, the m term of the sequence and then the k term of the sequence is going to be less than or equal to c to the power m minus 1 times um, the ordinary distance between c of x of 0 and x of 0 plus da 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 plus um, c to the power k times the ordinary distance between um, c of x of 0 and x of 0. Now, if you factor the distance function out, then um, we have c to the power m minus 1 plus c to the power m minus 2 plus dot 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 plus uh, c to the power k, the whole thing parenthesis, times um, the ordinary distance between t of x of 0 and x of 0. Now, if you factor c to the power k out, then you have um, c to the power k times into parentheses 1 plus c plus da 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 plus c to the power um, m minus 1 minus k times the ordinary distance between t of x of 0 and x of 0. Now, if you consider um, the second term in that product, basically, uh, if you apply the geometric sum formula, then you see that the product of the three terms is going to be equal to um, c to the power k and the second term is going to be 1 minus c to the power m minus k over 1 minus c and then the third term in the product is going to be basically the ordinary distance between t of x of 0 and x of 0 now because um, c is between 0 and 1 then that means the ordinary distance between um, the m term and the k term of the sequence is going to be less than or equal to c to the power k over 1 minus c times the ordinary distance between t of x of 0 and x of 0. 
But uh, because C is between 0 and 1, that basically means if you go in the limit of that inequality as k goes to infinity, then we have the limit of C to the power k is equal to 0 because C is between 0 and 1. So that means the sequence is uh, cut you.